Komustaka from the Komote Islands here in the Philippines. We have a food vlog. We're gonna try this native chicken over here. I've been seeing it on the menu and it looks like something to try. Be the name alone, native chicken. Anyways, here's our restaurant here all the way at the end. The fresh shipment of coconuts have arrived. Philippines is the world's number one producer of coconuts. Oh look, the place is packed right now. We're ready. I want the native chicken, please. Four. Huh? Grilled. Or grilled. Grilled, please. Yes, grilled and a garlic rice platter, please. Mm -hmm. And uh, one coconut and a San Miguel Grande. Okay. Extra grande if you have it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, this takes about an hour to cook. I'm gonna see if I can see how they prepare this native chicken. It's not a Filipino food vlog without one of these San Miguel and not just a San Miguel but a big one. Make it one. <laughs> no, <laughs> I have something better coming. We're gonna go behind the scenes and check out this native chicken that they're cooking up here. Let's check it out. Hello. Oh wow, you guys have it's a big kitchen. The native chicken. This is it? That's the native chicken. Yeah, native chicken. The whole chicken. You guys killed it earlier or this morning? Yeah, this morning. This morning? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, it's literally the whole chicken there. Check out the preparation. That's the sauce? Yeah. Nice. Garlic. And soy sauce. Soy sauce. For good taste. Lemon. And lemons. Very nice. And then some flour there. There's the native chicken. Flour. So this chicken Flour. runs around the island freely and then you guys catch it and yeah. cook it up here yeah. nice oh and this is where you're gonna cook it yeah i feel the heat coming oh wow that, that looks like it's gonna be amazing yeah the filipino style filipino style native kinamok, chicken kinamok. kinamok yeah oh man kinamok. i'm excited man Seasoning. Yeah, seasoning. You know, this reminds me of like how my family cooks, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm from Venezuela. Venezuela. Uh, Spanish speaking country. We were also colonized by Spaniards. Yeah. So I think we have, we have similar cooking techniques. This is like something my mom would do. Yeah. Okay. All right. So all the juices are there from the lemon, the soy sauce. Oh wow, the native chicken. And how long do you leave it there, like one hour? Oh, one hour. One hour? All right. All right, we'll check back in one hour. We'll wait an hour. I'll finish my beer. In the meantime, Sophinator got her coconut. Wow. Mm -hmm. What are your first thoughts about this coconut? The leaf just fell on the It's very good. It's really good? Mm -hmm. All right, very nice. Let's open up this top. Juice, oh, and you got the meat right there. And you got a spoon to eat the meat. Check out all the food, guys. I've been informed that the native chicken... Oh, wow, it looks delicious. It's ready. It's okay. It's ready? Yeah. All right. The native chicken. All right, well, have a look at that. First looks at the native chicken. All right, thank you. Chop you. it or... Huh? Um, it's... Yeah, no, leave it like that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I'll cut it for... Yeah. It's okay, yeah. Here it is, the native chicken, guys. So it looks like some soy sauce mixed with, I don't know what. Then we have a platter of garlic rice. 
time to dig in. All right, here we have the native chicken, guys. You guys saw how they prepare it. A little story behind the native chicken. Now we're gonna try what looks like an incredibly delicious and well-seasoned chicken, AKA the Filipino Comores Islands native chicken. I'm like too excited for this because it just Where looks... are you gonna start? Like which piece? I'm gonna start on this piece just because it's really white. I'm gonna start with that one. Let me serve myself some of this garlic rice. Mm. You literally see the pieces of garlic all over the place. All right. All right, nonetheless, where do we start? The rice or the chicken? The rice or the chicken? Let's start with the rice. Mmm. Oh. Filipino garlic rice. Really, really good so far. Mm-mm-mm. This is just 100% deliciousness, guys. So, so good. This huge bowl of rice, I think it's like $2 USD. Really good price for really good rice. Mm. Oh, man. So good, so good. What do you think about the rice, babe? Oh, it's really good. Really good? C'est bon. Looks like the French approves of the rice. Let's go in for what we came for here, guys. The native chicken, you saw how he seasoned it. He put the, I don't know, it was like a little homemade barbecue sauce, the lime, and the soy sauce. Let's try it out. Oh man. If there's a chicken heaven, I'm in it. It's tasty. It's like, it's on the sweet side. This barbecue sauce that they put on it definitely adds sweetness to it. It's delicious and tasty. Now they also gave me this sauce here on the side, which I gotta try. So I'm gonna go for it. I don't know what this is, but let's let our friend here swim in it. A little spicy, just a little bit, but like sweet at the same time. <laughs> I think I like it with the sauce as well. I like both versions of the of this native chicken here. That's going for the chicken wing of the native Filipino chicken. All right. You know what, let's just dip this whole wing into this sauce here. Let's get it nice and saucy. Mm. No, this sauce, I think it has vinegar on it. It's like an, another flavor in there that just taking things up just a notch. And I like it. Here we have the leg of the chicken. Let's try this piece out. The native chicken that walks around the island. That's one tasty chicken. I mean, look at the crispiness of it. And they cook it over like all this charcoal and stuff and it just gets a different taste, this chicken. Here we go, let's go in for the breast. Something I noticed, like the more I eat the chicken, I notice it's not very tender. And I, I think, why? Well, the reason being, is it's a native chicken. So this thing is running around the place, dodging motorcycles and cars on the road. Is jumping around the rocks and whatnot, so it's exercising like a natural chicken would. So that means the muscles probably just get stronger, and it doesn't provide that tenderness that you get in like maybe if, like you get some chicken at KFC. It just kind of like melts in your mouth. Well, it's a super industrial chicken that's never maybe seen the light of day, unfortunately, and its muscles never work out. So it's just extremely soft and tender all done here with the native chicken nothing but the bones left which there's a lot of beach dogs in the area that these are given to and yeah that was delicious man garlic rice here in the philippines 
is one of the best discoveries I have made in the rice world. It is so good. The native chicken is good. Sophie's coconut looked like it was very good. And it's still like it's still more liquid in it. This one was really really big. That's what she said. I saw this one coming from so oh, Check it out how they do things here. It's table number 22. And they gave us 22 over here. So that's our table. So here's the prices for everything. The beer, the coconut, grilled native chicken, garlic rice. Sophie had an order of french fries and water. So the total is $7.25, which is basically $14, almost $15 US for a native chicken, a coconut, a gigantic beer, rice and fries i'm gonna try something i've never tried before and that's the coconut meat so they give you the spoon here to get like the coconut shavings oh man i just launched it like all right here it is oh it's like really slippery look at that It doesn't taste like anything, it's just bland. All done with the native chicken. It does take a while to cook, an hour. And it also takes a while to eat. And while we're eating, it started raining here in the middle of our little paradise here on Santiago Bay. Nonetheless, Filipino garlic rice is amazing. If you come to this country, you must try Filipino garlic rice. It's delicious. The native chicken is delicious as well. The seasoning was very, very, very tasty. The flavor was really good. It's a natural chicken. It's literally an organic chicken. The way chicken is supposed to be, it runs around, it works out, and it's strong, you know? Not like these chickens in KFC. Even though they're delicious as well, they're extremely filled with hormones and stuff. This was a natural chicken. I liked it nonetheless. Delicious stuff. Anyways, that's it from Camotes Island here in beautiful santiago bay even though it's cloudy and it's raining it's still beautiful as you can see the high tide is coming in pretty soon all this will be full of water hopefully the clouds clear up and the sun takes over anyways that's it i hope you guys like this video of the native filipino chicken catch you on the next one